both. Uh, Camille, let me begin with you. I think the, the verdict surprised a lot of legal, legal experts. They thought it was a very uphill fight from the beginning for you all. What was the key to victory? I think the key to victory was focusing on the facts and the evidence um, and Johnny's opportunity to speak the truth for the first time. It was six years in the making and I think he was able to connect with the jury and the general public and tell what really happened in this relationship. He wasn't in the courtroom for the verdict. What was his reaction when you told him? He was over the moon. It was like the weight of the world had been taken off his shoulders and I feel that finally after six years he's gotten his life back. He also went on TikTok yesterday thanking his supporters on social media. What role did social media play in this verdict? My view is that social media played no role, role whatsoever. This was a decision made by the jury on the evidence presented by both sides and as Camille said, it was overwhelmingly in Mr. Depp's favor. Ms. Hurd's lawyers put out a statement yesterday saying the verdict was a, a setback for women's rights. And they went on to say, to say that it's unseemly and unprofessional for you all to be, quote, taking a victory lap for setting back decades of how women can be treated in the courtroom. How do you respond to that? I think it's disappointing. We're only speaking about what happened in this case, right? And the facts in this case were overwhelmingly positive for Johnny, and the verdict speaks for itself. How about the, the, the broader criticism, though? It's not just from Hurd's teams. Victims advocates have argued that the verdict is going to have a chilling effect on domestic violence victims, and it's a blow to the Me Too movement. I think our response to that is we encourage any victim to come forward. Domestic violence doesn't have a gender. So you, you, you don't see this as a setback to the movement in any way, shape, or form? We do not. Um, we believe that the verdict speaks for itself. The facts are what they were. The jury made a unanimous decision based on those facts. Wait, during your cross-examination, what was your impression of Ms. Hurd's impression on the jury? I think that her impression on the jury was what it was. I think something that I focused on and we focused on in that cross-examination was using her words against her. And it was very important for us to, every question that was asked was tied to something she had said previously. And um, I think the jury got to see and the world got to see and hear from Ms. Hurd in that relationship on every single topic.